Good morning viewers, I am Abi Al Ghazali, today on 4 November 2022, happy gathering with us in Majestad News Program, which will provide you to the real news which is taken factually and actually. I will accompany you for the next few minutes with some information I have. Many COVID-19 patients who died in the hospital were buried without confirmation from their patient family. This led to pros and cons from several parties. In Indonesia, the Jakarta administration has revealed it has buried more than 600 people according to the protocols for burials of people either suspected of or confirmed as having been infected with COVID-19. Jakarta Parks and Forestry Agency head Susi Marsitawati said that their job is to transport and bury the bodies. They weren't told by the hospital whether a body was a COVID-19 patient or simply someone put under general monitoring or surveillance. All they know was those bodies need to undergo special protocols, she said it during a press briefing on Monday. There are a total of 639 people that had been buried following the special protocols as of Monday noon, with their bodies wrapped in plastic, put inside coffins wrapped in another layer of plastic, and entered less than four hours after death. However, the agency did not have data on which of the 639 people were confirmed COVID-19 cases or only suspected of having the disease. Jakarta COVID-19 Task Force Head Chatur Laswanto said most of the cases were under surveillance or general monitoring and had died before the result came back. He also said that they had to adhere to protocols as if they were confirmed COVID-19 cases, even though their status is not yet confirmed for the disease. Workers that preparing the funeral must also use personal protective equipment such as gloves, masks, and protective coveralls. Most of the personal protective equipment for mortuary workers has been donated by Jakarta branch of the National Zakat Board of Indonesia, or we can call it Basnas, to the city parks and forestry agency. Because of the protocol's policy regarding the procedure for burying the bodies of victims of the COVID-19 virus, there are many families of the victims who cannot see the faces of the family members who left them for the last time. However, this policy is in the interest of all of us so that the virus does not spread and spread severely. As of Thursday, the capital city recorded 106 deaths as a result of COVID-19 of the total of 221 deaths recorded nationwide. Jakarta, the epicenter of COVID-19 in the country, has also confirmed more than 1,000 cases out of 2,738 total cases across the country. Jakarta has also seen a jump in funerals at the city where by more than 4,000 people were buried in March, much higher than any month in 2010 with an average of 2,500. The data that deaths from COVID-19 in the capital may be much higher than reported. That's all the news for today. If you want to know more about the latest news, you can visit magistanews.com for more information. I'm Abi Al Ghazali. Thank you for watching and have a great day.